I harp on over and over again that understanding your business reports is the most important part of running your business. It's not the most important as an accountant, I would say that, but there's other things as well that you need to do, like managing your cash well, having a team of people who can support you um, and making sure that you're providing the best quality service to your customers so that they can continue to come back and buy from you. But I want to just quickly touch on reading reports for a moment. If you're running software, to do your bookkeeping, then this software generally will be able to provide reports for you. And the main two reports that we look at on a very, very regular basis are your balance sheet and your profit and loss. So your balance sheet is a snapshot in time of those things that your business owns and owes. So you own your assets. So this might be the money in your bank account, your accounts receivable. So people who owe you money that's due in as well as your fixed assets, such as computers, desks, motor vehicles, land and buildings. So these are your assets that you own. We've also got your liabilities showing on your balance sheet. And this is the amounts that you owe out to other people. So this might be for GST, for to the tax office. It might be for superannuation that you owe for your staff members. Every time you run a pay, it shows there on the balance sheet. Um, it might be for loans that you have with a bank or a finance company or um, any, any money that is owed to the business from other people. So these are your liabilities or the things that you owe. When you take into account your assets and your liabilities, so the things that you own and the things that you owe, we want to look for a number that is bigger than one, zero. So you've got more assets than you do liabilities. So what this means is your business is then able to be um, a, a successful business in most cases because you've got the asset base to cover any bills that are, are there that you've got at the moment and likely to arise in the future. If you were to, at this point in time, sell your business, the equity would roughly show the difference between your assets and your liabilities. So if you sold off all of your assets and got all of the cash and then paid off all of your bills, which are your liabilities, then your equity is what you've got left over. So the bigger that number is on the very bottom of your balance sheet, the one that is um, total equity or net assets, the bigger that number is, the better. So what, we, what are we looking for on our balance sheet? We're looking that, to make sure that those balances look correct. So if your balance sheet says you have $20,000 in the bank, but your bank balance is actually $900, then there's a red flag there that your balance sheet is not correct and you need to go investigate and fix it before any of the rest of your reports will look correct. So that was the first report is your balance sheet. The second report is your profit and loss statement. So your profit and loss statement is a look at income, so money coming in, and expenses, money going out for your business over a period of time. So it might be from the 1st of July, which is when the start of the financial year was, through to a period of time. So it might be to the end of the quarter or the end of the month or to today's date. Your profit and loss report shows the, the income and expenses generally on an accruals basis. So it's based on the paperwork that's come in and out. So it might not match the money that's coming in and out of your bank account because there's timing differences there. Or the money coming in and out of your bank account also includes the purchase of some computers or um, a motor vehicle that's showing on your balance sheet and not on your profit and loss statement. So profit and loss does show money coming in, money going out, but not all of the money going out because sometimes it goes off to pay the tax office as well. So the two main reports that we're looking at on a regular basis when we as accountants are doing your books, your balance sheet and your profit and loss.